What is it like to walk on a line hundreds of feet above the ground on a one inch rope that's thinner than your belt? And why would anyone ever do it? Highlining the most extreme kind of slack line is the coolest sport you've never heard of until now. Our next guest is a Lodi native and can be caught on the new streaming series, Pushing the Line, where athletes like himself push each other to new limits, both physically and mentally. Joining us now is slackliner Ryan Jenks. Welcome, Ryan. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course, and you're in the new series, Push the Line, where you amongst others are slacklining. What exactly is slacklining for those who don't know? Slacklining looks like tightrope walking, but we don't have a pole and it's a really wiggly. And a lot of people practice in the park, just a few feet off the ground. And when you uh, get comfortable with that, you kind of want to go up higher and push the line. Yeah, and in this show, you're definitely pushing the line. I know you said you can start off lower, but we're looking at some of the visuals now, and you guys are very high up in the air. Tell us what we can expect to see in the new series. So the first three episodes are currently out. There are three more. It is on Discovery Plus, the new streaming platform for Discovery. And uh, we have some rope swings in there, some zip lines, and of course, some high lining, base jumping, all sorts of things. So uh, we actually show how the process works, the rigging, and just the struggle, because it's not always easy for all of us, even though we do have some very talented people on the show. Okay, and so what drew you specifically to slack lining, and how long have you been doing it for now? Slacklining just grabs some people, right? And so I uh, fell in love with it when I first saw it in a climbing gym, and then I just love Yosemite, and so that just happened to be a part of the culture there for the last 15 years, and yeah, yeah, I just <laughs> love doing it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it definitely gives you that adrenaline rush for sure. And on pushing the line, there's new stunts for you and other athletes to do each week. Have there been stunts that maybe had you a little bit nervous, maybe a little too high? Yeah, well, um, length for me is the most difficult part because there's nothing specific to look at when you are uh, looking at 500 meters or like a third of a mile long, as you saw in some of those photos just now. It's uh, very intimidating rather than some of these shorter lines where you can just, you know, toss a rock and be to the other side. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's very scary to be like in that much adrenaline for that long. And when you're doing this, are you kind of zoning in on something, really trying to focus on something specific when you're doing, when you're so high up in the air, really trying to walk across this very thin piece of line like we were talking about? Yeah, yeah we do have a little bit of safety ratio there. So like it's safe-ish, but yeah, the, uh, the name of the game is to stay calm. And that is the hardest part. If you're just rope jumping, right? You just jump off and it's wee. But if you're trying to stay balanced, it's very challenging to actually uh, stay calm the entire time. And sometimes these lines will take 30 minutes to cross that you'll see. Oh my goodness. So how was it like being surrounded around fellow like-minded people who enjoy the sport as much as you do? Uh, it's great. We're all friends. And so we got to uh, get to show the world together the the sport that we love. And so it was really fun being able to rage with them. We did in Moab, Utah, Uray, Colorado. And yeah, we got to do all the fun stuff we like doing together. <laughs> and is there somewhere you haven't slack lined before that you're eager to try? I have, I have not done anything like in Alaska or these, like, I've done Iceland, but like I want to do these glaciers and these really hard to get to places. And hopefully if we have a, a season two, if everybody likes the show, maybe we'll get to do something more extreme. Oh my goodness. And so have you, are you still in contact with people from the show, the other athletes who enjoy the sport as much as you do? Yeah, they're my good friends. Uh, half of them live in Moab. And so I'll visit often. I was just there a few weeks ago. So yeah, we're always in contact and always doing stuff. I was just in Yosemite a few days ago. We rigged a half a mile long there project. It's insane. <laughs> the stuff we're pushing these days. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine how breathtaking the view was being in Yosemite and doing that. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, yeah. for coming on the show. And for more on the new adrenaline series, Pushing the Line, visit discovery.com.